Hello and welcome, thank you for clicking on the video. Uh, if you're new to the channel, my name is Paul. I'm out with my dog, Indiana, the Spring Spaniel, and we're doing a canoe camp trip in uh, Glen Affric this weekend. And we've just dropped on to the block uh, Bien uh, Midon on the southwest side. And we're now paddling up uh, the north coast of it, up to the uh, up to the dam, which is on the northeast side, which is probably about five or six miles. We're gonna turn around, come back, hopefully find a nice little camp spot on the other side, on the south side, of a westerly view. And we're going to set up a hammock and tarp, spend the night in a hammock and tarp, and then tomorrow morning we'll have some breakfast and we'll head back to the car. So I hope you enjoy the video and uh, I'll catch up with you in a bit. come out uh, but unfortunately the wind has picked up quite a bit as well so we've got quite a bit of a headwind but uh, hopefully that'll still be there on the way back because I've got the sail with me and we can catch the sail and make good speed as we head back down the lock uh, towards where we're going to hopefully find a campsite tonight. So we're still battling a bit of a headwind. We're about two thirds of the way up, Block Bienna Mead on, and just there is an island. So we're gonna go around uh, the north side of the island on the way up, and on the way back we'll go, we'll go around the other side, we'll go around on the south side, uh, just to make sure we don't miss anything. Mix it up a little bit. <sighs> so, a nice bit of a break from the wind as we cut through this uh, small bottleneck between uh, the island and this uh, small spit of land on the on the main bit. We're going to pop out the other side, and that's that um, that little section about two thirds of the way up um, with all the sticky outy bits. Um, so we are getting there. We are nearly there. So we just popped out from between that little channel where that island was and uh, the wind has dro dropped right down. Um, so now we're just nicely paddling along. Um, I think it's probably more likely we're just a bit sheltered here uh, with the hill to our side. Um, but yeah, hopefully it doesn't change direction. It seems to be quite a theme for me when I go paddling. I always seem to have a headwind. Um, yeah, if it does that this time, um, I will probably cry. So uh, yeah, be prepared for that. <laughs> so there it is. The dam, the northeast side of Loch Bienna Mido. Right, so there you have it. We've just done there, uh, come up all the way from the southwest side of Loch Bien Amidon up to uh, the northeast side and you can just see the dam behind us there. I've just pulled over, letting you have a bit of a leg stretch to do whatever it is he needs to do. And then we're gonna put the sail up because we've still got a little bit of wind and hopefully it won't take us long to get back down um, to where we're gonna camp tonight, where I think we're gonna camp tonight. And um, yeah, so I'll let you enjoy the views as we sail back down because it's spectacular heading in this direction and I'll get back to you when we get into camp.
Right, hello. As you can see, we've got a camp set up. Uh, we've got absolutely beautiful views um, from the hammocks. So that's nice. Uh, the wind's picked up a little bit, so I've had to reinforce the tarp uh, with quite a few guy lines running off it. Um, but it's quite nice. The wind's keeping the midges at bay, so that's good. Um, we've just been relaxing, really, for the last hour. But now um, we're getting hungry, so it's time to get the fire on and get cooking.
So tonight's tea, roasted veg with halloumi. Oh, look at his face. How could you not give him a bit of cheese? Good boy. Right, so me and India are both fed and uh, watered. And the fire's gone out now. But it doesn't matter because there's a lovely breeze coming through here so the midges not bothering us today anyway. Uh, but we've had an absolutely uh, brilliant day today. It's been really nice paddle up uh, up the lock and back down again. Had some beautiful scenery. I didn't really get much of much footage of me sailing on the way back because the gusts were so intermittent and changing direction. And the sail was flapping in my face trying to film it all. <laughs> uh, it turned out to be a bit of a mission, but uh, hopefully I've got enough that you get a bit of an idea. But yeah, we got down a uh, really good time, probably half the time it took us to get up there, at least. Uh, so yeah, so we're just gonna chill out in the hammock and the sun's already dipped behind the hills in front of us so we're not going to see an actual sunset but um, hopefully the sky is going to go all nice colours because we've still got a bit of blue around so I'll try and capture that and then I'll speak to you next probably in the morning right giveaway time so I've just passed 200 subscribers so I thought to celebrate and to show you my gratitude and appreciation um, I've got some great followers I just thought I'd give away a prize and I'm giving away a firebox stove the same as the one I've got not my one, a new one. Um, so if you want to be in a chance of winning it, all you need to do is be a subscriber. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now. Um, leave a comment and like this video. And I will announce a winner. It will be randomly picked from the comments. And I'll announce a winner on my next video. So good luck everybody.
Hello, good morning. Um, had a really good night's sleep last night. Woke up about six o'clock. It's about half seven now, so we've just cooked up some bannock. Um, I pre-mixed. Pre-mixed it at home with a little bit of cinnamon as well and added some, uh, some grapes and blueberries and a little bit of trail mix. And we've been baking that this morning. I've had a cup of coffee and I'm going to round two, which is a cup of tea. And then um, we're going to pack down and we're going to hit the water. Um, Indy's not gotten out of bed yet, which is pretty unusual for him. Um, but I'm sure he'll make an appearance soon. Cheers. Mm. It's really good. If you're doing it, with grapes, they had a lot of moisture to it afterwards, so it's worth keeping a bit of flour on standby. Midges, midges, everywhere. I thought to myself, I'll just have a little look in my shoe, make sure nothing's crawled in it in the night. Ugh. Slugs. Right. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Right, so we're all packed down, ready to go. Um, I didn't film it because there's, there's quite a few midge down here, but there's loads up there, so we just wanted to get it done um, as quickly as possible. Uh, left no traces always and now we're gonna get back on the lock and head back towards the car oh dude shake off those midges Right then, we're back out on the water and uh, it's been a beautiful camp. We've had lovely views the whole time we've been on it. Uh, a nice little workout on the way up the lock and a lovely little sail on the way back down. Um, yeah, so I'm going to say my goodbyes now because we've probably got about a mile and a half to two miles until we get to the car, so that shouldn't take us too long. And um, thank you for watching. And uh, Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please do leave comments. And uh, yeah, until the next time, uh, we'll see you later.